The Middle East, a region synonymous with volatility, stands at a crossroads once again. Tensions between Israel and Iran, already simmering for decades, have reached a fever pitch. Recent events, punctuated by missile exchanges and fiery rhetoric, have set the stage for a potential conflagration. Whispers of a possible Israeli strike on Iranian oil infrastructure have sent shockwaves through the global energy market. The question is no longer if, but when and what impact such an attack would have. The world watches with bated breath, aware that any miscalculation could ignite a conflict with far-reaching consequences. Will cooler heads prevail? Or are we hurtling toward a confrontation with unforeseen and potentially catastrophic consequences? Only time will tell. Iran, a nation steeped in history and proud defiance, boasts vast oil reserves. For Israel, Iran's oil infrastructure presents a tempting target, a potential pressure point in their ongoing shadow war. Among the potential targets, Karg Island stands out, home to Iran's main oil export terminal. An attack on Karg Island would send shockwaves through the global energy market, disrupting supply chains and sending prices skyrocketing. The Bandar Abbas oil refinery, another critical facility, could also be in the crosshairs. Further inland lies the Abadan refinery, a cornerstone of Iran's domestic oil supply. The South Pars gas field, a colossal reservoir of natural gas shared with Qatar, also looms large as a potential target. The question is not whether Israel has the capability to strike these targets, but whether it is willing to risk the potentially catastrophic consequences of such an action. The global oil market, a complex web of interconnected interests, teeters on a knife's edge. An Israeli attack on Iranian oil facilities would be no mere tremor. It would be an earthquake sending shockwaves through the global economy. The immediate impact would be a surge in oil prices, perhaps exceeding anything seen in recent history. Panic buying, fueled by fears of scarcity, would drive prices ever higher. OPEC plus the cartel of oil-producing nations could respond by increasing production, attempting to offset the loss of Iranian oil. But even this might not be enough to stabilize the market. The uncertainty surrounding the duration of the conflict, coupled with the potential for further escalation, would keep oil prices elevated for the foreseeable future. An Israeli attack on Iranian oil facilities would not be a localized event. It would be a global crisis with far-reaching and potentially devastating consequences. The question on everyone's mind is whether Israel, despite the potential risks, would actually launch a strike on Iranian oil facilities. Israel, facing an existential threat from Iran, might feel compelled to act, to strike preemptively before Iran can further develop its nuclear capabilities. However, an attack on Iranian oil infrastructure would not be a surgical strike with limited consequences. Iran, its pride wounded and its economy crippled, would be unlikely to stand idly by. Retaliation, swift and merciless, would be a certainty. Hezbollah, Iran's proxy in Lebanon, would likely join the fray, unleashing its arsenal of rockets against Israel. The conflict, once confined to the shadows, would erupt into a regional conflagration, engulfing the entire Middle East in flames. The world watches, hoping against hope that cooler heads will prevail. In the charged atmosphere of the Middle East, where suspicion reigns supreme and communication is often fraught with peril, the risk of miscalculation is ever-present. Israel and Iran, locked in a deadly embrace, view each other through a prism of distrust. Their actions and pronouncements interpreted through the lens of historical grievances. The absence of direct communication channels between the two countries exacerbates the problem. Without a mechanism for dialogue, for clarifying intentions and diffusing tensions, the risk of misunderstanding increases exponentially. A simple miscalculation, a misinterpreted signal, could have catastrophic consequences. In such an environment, where information is often incomplete and unreliable, the line between perception and reality can become dangerously blurred. The international community, acutely aware of the dangers posed by the lack of communication between Israel and Iran, has repeatedly urged both sides to engage in dialogue. The world stands at a crossroads, facing a choice between the path of diplomacy and the abyss of conflict. 
The escalating tensions between Israel and Iran, fueled by mistrust and the specter of war, threaten to plunge the Middle East and indeed the entire world into a crisis of unimaginable proportions. Now is the time for cool heads to prevail, for reason to triumph over emotion. The international community must use all its diplomatic tools to de-escalate the situation, to persuade Israel and Iran to step back from the brink. Dialogue, however difficult, is the only way forward. The alternative, a military confrontation between Israel and Iran, is too horrific to contemplate. The human cost, both in terms of lives lost and livelihoods destroyed, would be immeasurable. Let us choose diplomacy, let us choose peace before it is too late.